The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, we're going to show a little bit different chart to start off the show. This is the chart of Federal Express. If you, Those of you that were on the show yesterday, you remember the gentleman from uh, John from uh, Colorado called in and had bought the stock at uh, 249 uh, on the ABCD pattern, and he wanted to know with earnings coming out, you know what he should do and i said well uh you know you're basically looking at something that's really negative here i posted the chart it opened down 25 dollars folks uh in fedex because of bad earnings the reason why i was so nervous was three reasons first of all the abcd pattern had completed and it went below uh the area where we thought it was going to go to by just a little bit but we were below the 78 percent level that was the main thing to look at, okay? Second thing is it's a weaker than market stock. And the third thing is you're, you have unlimited risk coming in to our earnings, and look what happened. And uh, believe it or not, the gentleman called me early this morning and uh, thanked, him, thanked me because what he did was he bought it at 249 It rallied up to 253 and which was his uh, first profit objective. And so he decided to get out and not take the risk, and he turned out to be a good thing. But that's the main thing that we try to talk about here, folks. It's not the amount of money that you make. It's the amount of money that you don't lose. Look at the difference between a $4 profit and a $25 loss. That's a huge difference. And that's the risk. See, that's the big unknown. And that's what happens with these earning things. So let's remind ourselves when you see that, you know, add up and make sure that you, uh, now if this trend had been up or something, totally different, but that's not it. We're seeing, you know, corrections as Facebook and other things that are also, you know, very, very important. Now let's go across. By the way, today our, our guest is hopefully going to be Jeff Huge of Alpha, Alpha Insights. But as you can imagine, folks, with the volatility that we're seeing now in the market, some of these folks like uh, Stan Harley the other yesterday uh, were just not able to make it. So we understand where it's coming from. So let's play, pay close attention to these things when they do come on because they've been very good at what they're doing. I want to cover the European markets. And then I've got a real interesting question from uh, Mike up in the Northwest. And I think you'll, you'll like to hear that story. Here is the uh, chart of the FTSE. As you can see here, we had that double bottom. You can see the monster rally that we've had. We made it all the way up to the 61% retracement uh, with all kinds of gaps and everything because there's so much emotionalism in these markets. That's not to be unexpected. And then, of course, if we look at the uh, German DAX here, you can see here that we've done pretty much the same thing. We made much lower lows in the German DAX than we did in the FTSE, but you can see the FTSE now is looks like it's getting the excuse me the German DAX looks like it's completing an ABCD Gartley pattern up there at around 15,625. So that's it. Now the question that Mike in uh, up in the Northwest asked was how how did I you know learn how to do some of these patterns and folks basically what what i did was i i i knew what these patterns were i didn't quite underst understand all the ratios until 1988 when i met bryce gilmore in chicago he really showed me how all these ratios fit together he had a program called the wave trader and the wave trader basically went in and measured all the swings and relations of those swings so that you could see them uh, in, in live, uh, just watching them unfold as they were making. And, and it had a scale from 1 to 10. In other words, if you had three major ratios at a spot or 7 or 8, whatever it happened to be, it gave you a ratio from 1 to 10. Well, when you saw 8, 9, or 10 on the wave trader, you knew that something was getting ready to happen. I'll give you a rough idea 
of what this is. Let me just show you. This happens to be the Pesavento index thing that's in the Ensign program. This is very similar to the Wave Trader, a sim simplistic way of the way of using what the Wave Trader did. But I'll show you how I worked around it. Basically, it just shows you all the ratios and proportions of these ratios. Now, the Wave Trader was a little different because it put them in color. Well, I, I can put those in color in the Ensign program easily. So uh, when Bryce uh, used to come from 1988 to 1994, he came to uh, Pismo Beach and spent at least two or three months every year with me uh, at the trading home there uh, where Twentyman lived and where we all traded from. And uh, it was a you know a great time, but he certainly you know knew these markets better than anybody. But he explained all these ratios of the square roots of five and you know the sacred ratios of geometry of which the Fibonacci summation sequence is part of. So all I do is I watch these particular patterns form. And what, what happened to me in 2000, uh, I happened to be uh, living here in uh, in Tucson, and uh, the folks up at Ensign were, were having a seminar for the weekend up there. They, it was a trading seminar. They asked me if I would come up and trade for a day with them. So I said I did. And when I was up there, and I'm very close to the, the Arrington family, and we hung out together. And they asked me what they could do for me. And I said, well, you know, I've been trying to get this thing like the wave trader for a long time. But, you know, I've tried other people that tried to do these ratios for me. They couldn't do it. And he says, what do you want? So I showed him what I wanted to do on paper and how all these ratios enter connect between A, B, C, D and the moves down and all that stuff. And he said, well, that doesn't seem too hard. Well, <laughs> what I had paid uh, close to $50,000 for it and got nothing, they did it over the weekend. And that's what you're seeing right here on this chart is this is the Pesavento patterns of doing. Now, the way I do it, I mean, I don't use these patterns as much anymore because I've got little patterns that they built in uh, to the thing. This happens to be uh, natural gas that we're looking at. But all I do now is I take these same things. Now, what you're going to be looking at now is the same chart that I was looking at before, only I've taken out uh, all of the swings other than I put the ratios on. You can see the ratios between highs and lows. But the the Ensign folks put a graph in there so that I can actually connect the highs and lows and make it in color, just like what uh, just like what Bryce did for the wave trader. So I don't have a scale of 1 to 10, but I have patterns that I really believe in. Like if I see an A, B, C, D and a 3 drive to a bottom pattern, that tells me that that's a strong probability that it's a very low trading opportunity. Do I know it's going to work? Heck no, I don't know it's going to work. But what I can do is I can determine whether this is going to be a, a low-risk trade or a high-risk trade. High-risk trade, I have no interest in. Late yesterday in that FedEx, that's what that was. It was a high risk trade. And the reason for it was a high risk trade is A, it was you were trading, you know, it's okay to trade against the trend, but the, the big unknown there was the uh was the earnings. It would be like going into a currency or, you know, a gold or a bond right into Fed time, you know, where there, there might be an announcement. See, that that's 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 risk off, folks. You don't want to get on. Stay away from there. That's what risk on. You, you don't want to be there. You want to be when risk is off where you can control it. See, during these times of, you know, uh, news announcements and earnings and Fed, which is today, it makes it, you know, really, really difficult to uh, to look at these things. So, pay attention to the to how much money you have to risk, not how much money you have to lose. That's the real key to this. I hope that answers Mike's question. And if it doesn't, uh, you can get in touch with me the usual way, Larry Pesavento at gmail.com, and we'll do it. By the way, I, on the yesterday when we were talking about the family that needed help here, uh, I, I want to thank Big Bubba down there in Fairday, Louisiana, a good friend and and a big supporter. He. <laughs> He asked for the contact number of the folks and made a phone call, and uh, boy, oh boy, did he help somebody. Anyway, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. 
TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to uh, go a little bit deeper about those uh, things about the Wave Trader and the Pesavento index that's in the Ensign program. I posted that chart of Cardano, the ADA, the crypto blockchain thing. Anyway, the reason why I want to show you this, this is what it looked like on the Wave Trader. Instead of looking at wiggly lines, each of those dotted lines were colored. In other words, between the dotted lines, you would see the different color patterns in that. That's why it's uh, so very, very important. Now, if you'll look at those colored lines, when I used to get my charts for commodity perspective, you know, back in the early 70s uh, and 80s, uh, you know, basically, I would get these big 11 by 14 charts, and I would draw those lines in between with my pencil and ruler. And then when I was finished with the chart, my little daughter, who was about seven or eight, would go in, even when she was younger, she would take the old chart, cut it out, and then she would cut the pattern with her little plastic scissors, and then she would color in the little uh, little uh, triangles that were there. Each one would be a different color. And then when she was finished with it, she would take a piece of scotch tape and she would put it on the refrigerator. Or well, I start looking at those, and the girls called them a butterfly because that's what they look like. And sometimes they look like butterflies. And so that's why I called it the butterfly pattern. I called it the Gartley 222 pattern because on page 222 of Gartley book, he, he took well over two and a half pages to describe that one particular pattern. That was the old, only time in that 600-page book that he spent three pages describing a pattern. So I figured he was trying to tell us something, and certainly he was because because it's the basis of what Mandelbrot talked about in fractal geometry, where AB equals CD, as old Mark Douglas used to say. So that's pretty much what we're looking at. Yes, we're, the S&P uh, question is, uh, does wh why do the ratios work some of the time and not all the time? Folks, I don't know the answer to that, and frankly, I don't care what the answer is, because they, they, they work often enough 
that it's predictable. And that's what Andrew Lowe did in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, using all those formulas. They're predictable within limits, okay? And not only are they predictable in with limits, the most important thing is they repeat over and over again. That's what we see every day here at TFNN when we're going through some of these things. It's the same thing over and over again. I That's why, you know, sometimes it seems a little boring, you know, to see uh, whether it's uh, – you know, whether they work or not. But I, you know, like I say, I don't know which ones are going to work. And I, I really, frankly, don't care. I'm looking at the ones that basically, you know, fit up to what we're, what we're trying to see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's talk just a little bit more about the wave trader. Uh, I have to talk to you about the uh, about Bryce Gilmore, because I got to know him very well during those six years. And uh, he was incredibly smart. But, uh, and he was certainly involved in the markets a great deal as you can imagine but he would come and stay at the house and we would have breakfast with steve shapiro uh, and his mother she would cook for us and we would have this one every wednesday we'd have this great breakfast and that day uh, there was a big day because he had done a lot of work on treasury bonds and he th said uh, this is going to be a big day in treasury bonds so we've got to get ready and then so he he gave he, he was from australia so he couldn't trade in the u.s yeah, because they at that time you couldn't do it. Uh, I don't know if you still can. Yeah, I'm sure you can now, but that, back in those days you couldn't. And so he, he, I let him trade in my account, and he said, "What do you want to do?" And he said, "Well, I want to sell tri six Treasury bonds, and we'll just use the price that we've got today at uh, 16401. I want to sell six of them, and I want to buy stop at 16402." And I said, "I, I said, Bryce." I said, you you can't do that. I said, that's that's a stupid order. I said, because that's just one tick. That's just one bid. I said, You're, that's waste of money. And he looked at me and he said, let me tell you something. He said, I want to sell them at 16401. And if they see 16402, I'm going to take these fricking books of all of his, his uh, you know, uh, market books. I'm going to take them out to that pier there at the at uh, Pacific Ocean, there at, at Pismo Beach. And he said, I'm going to throw them in the water. And the next thing I'm going to do is to drive my rental car down to Los Angeles, buy a few uh, exotic cars like Mustangs, and I'm going back to Australia, and you'll never hear or see from me again. Steve and I was, Steve Shapiro and I were just laughing. I have to get Steve on the show to tell that story too. I said, I said, you can't do it. He said, I want to do it. I said, pick up the phone, and I put the order in at 164.01, and we waited for two hours. It hit 164, 164.01, 164, 164. That went on for a solid hour, folks. And I knew doing that that it had to see 164. Uh, oh, it had to see 164. Uh, you know, uh, 02 at least to get those stops that had to be there. Okay. So he's getting ready to play golf. By now it's about 10 30 in the morning. And uh, we were on the upstairs part of the house with a little balcony there. And he called down from his car. He's putting his golf clubs in his thing. He said, how's it doing? And I said, well, I said, uh, we finally got filled. And I said, actually it's, it's broken a half a point, which was 500 bucks on six contracts. That was three grand. And he said, cover the position. I said, hey, if you're strong about this being, he said, three grand is three grand. I said, okay. And so uh, I I went to the machine. And remember, we don't have this fancy stuff. You know, I had, to, I had to pick up the telephone and call in. By the time I got through and everything, he, is already, he was already driving away. And he got filled uh, four ticks better. And it they ended up being down a point and a half on the day, which was a huge move. You know, you're talking uh, 1,500 times six was 9,000. He he made uh, he made three. I think yeah, he made like three grand, and he could have made 9,000. Okay, so we go to we go to uh, early dinner that night around five o'clock. We had guests coming in from Chicago, so we went to our favorite steak place. I never mentioned it. Not during the whole time. And the reason why I knew that if I did, that was going to put a scrowl on his face. So the next morning, I'm in the trading room, and he's up really early. And he said, hey, why didn't you tell me about the, uh, the fill the, in, the, in, the, in the treasury bonds while we were at dinner? And I said, hey, I said, you had a great trade there. And I said, I didn't want to spoil it or anything. And uh, he said, you know, it was right. And I, I, I had to say this to him. I said, do you know what the high in the bonds were today, Bryce? And he said, no. I said, 164.02. And he would have been stopped out. 
And uh, I didn't put the stop in because I thought that was stupid. And uh, so anyway, it turned out to be okay. We laughed about it and everything. So that's neither here nor there. Hopefully we're going to have Jeff Huge on at the break here. I want to share a really great chart here about the economy and the technical stuff that I don't understand. And that is, uh, you'll look here, this is a palladium going back uh, many, many years, uh, more than 20 years. You can see the relationship between the stock market the candlestick chart is the palladium. The blue line is the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index. And you can see they peak uh, and move very, very closely. And you can see the big move we've had here. Look at the big drop we've had in palladium here uh, this past two months. So that's telling you that there's something not quite right. This chart comes from our good friend uh, Jim Bartolioni who's going to be our guest here in a couple of weeks. And uh, he's always fun to talk about. He's one of the uh, the uh, F-18 pilots from the Navy that uh, I was able to train uh, over the years. We're going to take a little break here. Hopefully, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm trying to get Stan Harley to, to come back. He's been just swamped with all the volatility we're having this week. And, of course, Friday, we will have uh, Tim Bost on. So that'll be good. So that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun also. So that's what we're looking at here today, folks. Be right back after this break with... Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're chatting with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific, Larry. How are you? Very good. Jeff, I did not get any charts uh, to post. Uh, did I miss something? Well, I sent you my weekly, I think, probably on Sunday. Oh, oh yeah, so. I got that. Can I get that at WW or uh, Trade Exchange, or which, which is the best place to do it? Uh, well, I, I sent it to your email Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah, I could resend it right now if you want. No, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I'll just get it up here, and I will be able to uh, be able to figure out which ones you want to show. Because, uh, well, yeah, shucks, I yeah, I don't know which ones to show now. I'm in a, I'm in a difficult place because I uh, I don't have a uh, a whole great uh, technical stuff. You know, my skills are very very limited. Why don't Why don't you just just take a little minute? Take the first few minutes here. Take the first five minutes or so, ten minutes, and tell the folks what you're seeing in the market in general. Then we'll look at the charts when we come up to the first break. How's that? Because what you've shown yeah. us over the months has just been too important not to, to post. So tell us what you're looking at here, Jeff. Absolutely. Um, so, Larry, you know, we have been tactically bearish on the market since early August. We were a couple of weeks too early. Uh, the market, S&P 500, that is, actually peaked on uh, September 2nd, the Dow actually peaked on August 16th. And then, of course, the NASDAQ index has peaked on the 7th. Um, one of the things that I think is interesting is, you know, the, part of the bull case has been all the cash on the sidelines, about $4.5 trillion sitting in money market funds, right? Uh -huh. And um, we saw data going into September that confirmed that and then heard through our sources that a great deal of that cash on the sidelines had been drawn down in the first week of September and deployed into equities, which I think was interesting because you saw that price action reflect it, and we saw the markets rally into those highs. And then, of course, the second week of September, we started to see some, some sell-off, and then that follow-through on Monday was fairly dramatic, taking out the 50-day moving average for the first time definitively on a, on a, uh, a daily closing basis – and then actually trading all the way down to the 100-day moving average and holding that level pretty uh, steadily and rallying sharply off that through today's price action. Now, our view at this point is that this rally is a counter-trend rally and that we've actually put in a top. And one of the reasons we believe that is because we've identified um, a very common pattern that uh, evolves at the very terminal stage of a trend. It's known as an ending diagonal triangle. It's an Elliott wave formation. And once that um, ending diagonal triangle is resolved to the downside, in other words, we've peaked at the top of the upper boundary and broken down through the lower boundary uh, convincingly, which we certainly have, then it confirms a trend reversal. And so the only real question in our mind at this point is, what magnitude of a decline should we expect? Is this a, uh, and what degree of trend did we top at? Did we top at cycle wave degree, or did we top at primary wave degree, or did we top at intermediate term uh, wave degree? And so, you know, right now we are always focused on the worst case just to defend capital. And so we're assuming we've seen at least a cycle degree top and that we have um, a fairly significant downside to look forward to. Now, the best case scenario uh, would be that this is, you know, your garden variety correction, something in the neighborhood of around 10%, which would bring us all the way back down to about the 200-day moving average, which we haven't seen for almost a year and a half now. So it's about due. And if we did get that pull back to, say, around the 4,000 level on the S&P 500, we could then, um, as long as it holds, obviously, we could then project upside to around 5,000 on the S&P. But that, that's kind of our alternate view. Our preferred view at this point is that we've topped and that this is going to be something way more significant, uh, at least a 20% correction, and that would take us down uh, into kind of uh, the 3,600 range, 
Uh, but more importantly, we think that this could be something in the neighborhood of about a 50 percent retracement of the entire bull market advance off the 2009 low. So that 12 year bull market advance. And if we saw a 50 percent retracement, that would bring us down into around the 2600 range on the S&P 500. 2600. <laughs> They're going to be checking a few uh, compasses at the old uh, geometry room if that happens, for heaven's sakes. Wow, that is really uh, – I could see that very very easily just because – just looking at you know what's happening with the type of people that are in the market. I have nothing against Robin Hood or Reddit or any of these things, but these are the same type of people that I can remember back in the dot-com bubble, if you remember, Jeff, where if the phone rang on the desk, uh, there was a potential sale, the stock would jump 25%. You know, and uh, we're seeing not quite that dramatic, but uh, it's yeah. still, you know, very, very dramatic on the straight up move that we've that we've had so far here. Now, uh, we have uh, qu we have got two more minutes before the next break, but we've got a couple of questions here that uh, I would uh, like to bring to your attention that some listeners have asked about is what is you have several levels of uh, service. Can you tell us what your, your basic service is and, and what you offer? Sure. Because you're so, you're a real um, professional, so tell the folks what you what you give people. Oh, happy to. Yeah. So uh, we published something called Alpha Insights, uh, which is our um, um, I would call it a, a chart compendium. We we publish review and outlook every month, so it's a big 100 page chart compendium that looks at all global markets, U.S., Europe, Asia. Uh -huh. uh, we also cover commodities, currencies, crypto, and rates. Uh, we do security selection. Uh, we do sector rotation. We do country rotation. So, you know, we have a variety of different uh, um, sort of models that we publish in this monthly publication. And then every week we publish what we call the weekly playbook for Alpha Insights. And that really takes kind of a, a more um, uh, shorter term look at what's changed between the monthly publications. So what, how are things evolving week to week? And then we try and uh, refresh our top ideas list uh, every week. So uh, typically when we're in a situation like we've been in in recent weeks uh, where things are very choppy, we'll publish a list of long and short ideas uh, for investors to consider. And uh, we typically use uh, you know, visualization techniques uh, that you know, focus on quantitative and technical analysis so, in other words, we're going to present you with a chart that gives you our bull case or bear case on a stock, and we're going to give you specific levels, uh, profit targets, and stop loss levels, uh, typically using at least a three-to-one risk-reward ratio so that you can make at least three times as much as you're risking. Our track record's pretty good on this. Um, I'm not going to quote any numbers, but, um, you know, that's the basic service. Uh, we charge $1,200 annually for that, so basically 100 bucks a month. Uh, for individual wow. investors. We have a higher level of service for professional investors that involves, um, you know, having direct access to us. And uh, we do some customized portfolio analysis and things of that nature for those clients. So um, that would be the differentiation. Okay. Now, well, the second question is, what are some of the technical programs that you use for developing? Do you use cycle programs? And uh, what other charting tools that you use that, if you can't answer it on this uh, before the break, please remember the question. But can you offhand tell us some of the programs you're looking at to, to put all yeah. this data together? Our work is built off of relative strength for the most part. So we look at price first, uh, momentum second, and relative strength third. And what we're really focused on in terms of our stock selection is looking at the, the momentum of relative strength, so the, the momentum of momentum, if you will. We also overlay Elliott Wave uh, to create a uh, roadmap when we're looking at things on a longer-term horizon. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's really good. Well, we've got a break coming up here, Jeff. And when we come back, we will uh, we'll chat with you some more. Okay. Could you send me the charts, please, if you could? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. Very interesting. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Unfortunately, we Jeff was nice enough to send the charts to me uh, that he was talking about in his letter. Uh, Jeff, could we talk a little bit about the second chart, about how the Fed is uh, putting money into the system? Uh, I think the folks would like to hear your description of what's going on, on how they make it accommodative. Well, what's happening out there is the Fed is basically buying assets. And uh, they're buying uh, about $80 billion worth of treasury bonds and bills every single uh, month. And they're also buying another $40 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities. So um, they have been building up this treasure trove uh, to about $8.5 trillion on their balance sheet at this point. Um, now, this is obviously a, a sharp change from kind of the pre great financial crisis period going back to, say, uh, mid-2008. And, um, you know, uh, the move from about a trillion dollars to on our way to nine trillion seems like it's uh, something that is unsustainable. And um, the first uh, evidence of that is, is the fact that the Fed's already indicated at their Jackson Hole Symposium uh, that they do intend to begin tapering off those asset purchases. And we're going to find out today at 2 o'clock Eastern time uh, kind of the, the timeline for that, hopefully. So most analysts and economists out there are focused in on uh, a November start date. So sometime in November, the Fed should probably begin tapering off those buys. So instead of buying, um, you know, $120 billion every single month, that might slip down to maybe $108 billion in November, and then it might drop into something under $100 billion in December. And 
you know, gradually get back down to, to zero so that they're no longer quantitatively easing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That'll make a big difference, I would think, in people's perceptions anyway. Well, it's been one of the main, uh, you know, uh, legs of the stool of the bull market. And I think this, mm. this accommodative, you know, high liquidity environment has really created the money necessary to go into stocks. And, and I think once they shut off the spigot or at least, you know, dial it back, it's going to have an impact, uh, certainly on the rate of change in equities. Okay, now the next slide that's really interesting to me is that's money on the sidelines. You want to explain to the folks what this chart's about? Yeah, like I said, this um, this is about four and a half trillion dollars that uh, uh, is in money market funds going into the month of September. So, you know, we've seen quite a drawdown on that in the first week of September. Uh, estimates now are that it's probably sub four trillion. But, um, you know, a lot of people are focused on the absolute dollar value. The real thing to focus on is the percent of market cap. And so, you know, at around $4 trillion versus $52 trillion in total market cap in the U.S., um, you're really looking at something, you know, around 7%. Um, the all-time record low is about 5%. So it's not a really high percentage of market cap. In fact, if you look back to 2009, we had about that same, uh, you know, amount of cash on the sidelines around Four trillion, but the market cap of the S and P 500 back then was only about 20 trillion. So, you know, as a percentage, it was much, much higher. It was about 20 percent. So now we're down to around 7 percent. It's really not a substan as substantial um, uh, a, uh, a driver of stock performance as it was uh, many years ago. Wow. Now, the next one that's one of my all-time favorites, because I happen to know Richard Russell, and that's about the Dow theory. And you have a, two great charts here on the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the transportations and how they're diverging. Do you want to tell the folks uh, your theory behind this? Yeah. So this is one of the you know, long-standing classic theories of discipline of technical analysis um, is that really the um, key intermarket indexes and sectors should advance together and confirm one another's progress during a bull market phase by simply posting new all-time highs and near synchronicity. So there's really no intermarket relationship that's deemed to be more important than that. Uh, between the Dow Jones Industrial and Dow Jones Transports. And just by way of background, Charles Dow, who was the founder of the Wall Street Journal back in 1889, he famously observed that the industrials, uh, when, when they were engaged in some form of sustained advance, making new, new highs, the transports would confirm, uh, you know, the bullish trend by also making new highs. But when the transports failed to make new highs along with the industrials, the bull trend tended to fail as well. And so mm -hmm. Dow really deduced that the producers of goods, uh, as they were experiencing an increase in demand, that the transporters of those goods should also be seeing an increase in demand and that the market mm -hmm. would then uh, reflect those underlying fundamentals in its pricing of the stocks. And so the thing that we're seeing here in this chart is that the two have been out of sync since May 10th. Wow. That's good. Now, finally, the last one is my favorite. That's the advanced decline line. To me, this really means a lot. And you want to tell the folks here how that's looking right now. In fact, it's looking worse and worse all the time, it looks like. It is. It's much worse today than it was when I pr printed this chart out on Sunday night, which was based on last Friday's uh, data. But the advanced decline line represents the cumulative number of advancing issues on the NYSC. Um, there's two here. There's, there's the all issues, which also includes preferred stocks and uh, closed-end funds and really all manner of bond-like proxies. And then there's also the common stocks only version on the lower uh, panel of the chart. And, and that actually only includes New York Stock Exchange listed common stocks. And historically, the AD line has tended to confirm a bullish advance in prices by posting its own new high, again, very near in synchronicity with the stock index prices. And the failure to do so which is otherwise known as a negative divergence, and that's what we're seeing today, has almost always been followed by a trend reversal of varying degrees of magnitude in the uh, subsequent months. And so, you know, it's probably considered to be one of the most successful warning signals uh, in terms of its reliability of predicting a bear market. Um, so, you know, the S&P again made its all-time high on September 2nd, 
And the all-issue AD line uh, actually made its all-time high back on July 2nd. It has failed to confirm the latest high. And then, of course, uh, the all-issue, or I should say the common stocks only version uh, topped back in June, June 8th to be exact. So both versions are now trading below the respective uh, 50-day moving averages as well, uh, which is a very bearish signal. Wow, this is great. Jeff, I want to thank you for being our guest. We'll have you on in a few weeks, but may God bless and keep up the fabulous work, my friend. It's as good as it gets, and I think all the folks should take advantage of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Thanks, Larry. You bet, buddy. And we'll be right back, folks, after a message from our sponsors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of that uh, Dow, excuse me, the ESC mini up here over the last month or so, the big break that we've had so far. Uh, basically, what we're looking at here, folks, is a very important date astrologically. I hate to use the A word here because I don't know a lot about it. I know a little bit about it, but it has a memory bank that I certainly remember. And it was this type of a day when we had a Venus uh, Uranus aspect. It's a conjunction that's like zero degrees or a new moon. 
And uh, Dr. Miller said these were very important points in the market, and I certainly followed those for many years and was also a big fan of that was uh, our Super Traders Almanac, Frank Tauscher. That was his second favorite. His first favorite, of course, was the P-Index. But uh, this is the date. This is equivalent to October 2nd, 1987, folks. I don't think it's going to be anything like that, but it is the, it has the similarities built into it. Now, whether it is or not, I don't know. The one thing I do know is if we go below 43, excuse me, 42.93, that's down one standard deviation. Those of you that have the Floor Traders Handbook know the importance of that. If we go below that, you're looking at two standard deviations, and that takes you to 4,100. Three standard deviations take you below 4,000. So remember, the, these things can go great. There'll be great buying opportunities along the road, but uh, be very careful with your portfolios in here if we get below that uh, 40. Uh, 293 here either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because that would be the setup that you'd be watching for. Top coming in today, and it's uh, just uh, right at the 382 right now as we speak. And uh, if we, uh, you know, are stronger, then that's okay. I don't think we'll much get above 4450 if we do rally more. But uh, if we do start to turn down, this is going to be a very important spot to look at. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we're going to try to have Stan Harley on tomorrow. Friday will be Tim Bost, and I'll be doing two shows on Friday. I'll be doing the 12 o'clock show, and I'll be doing Tom O'Brien's 3 o'clock show on Friday. So have folks, uh, help help your fellow neighbors, folks. They, they need a lot of friends. And, and again, thanks to Big Bubba down there in Faraday, Louisiana. May God bless. Mm -hmm.